क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी नाइन नो दिस एक्सप्रेशन विल बी इक्वल टू बाय डिफरेंट सीरीज वी कैन रीड समीशन फ्रॉम के इक्वल वन टू थर्टीन एंड वी कैन राइट साइन ऑफ k पाई बाय सिक्स प्लस पाई बाय फोर माइनस k माइनस वन ऑफ पाई बाय सिक्स प्लस पाई बाय फोर अपॉन साइन ऑफ k पाई बाय सिक्स प्लस पाई बाय फोर मल्टीप्लाइड बाय साइन ऑफ k माइनस वन ऑफ पाई बाय सिक्स प्लस पाई बाय फोर यूजिंग मेथड ऑफ डिफरेंस नाउ वी सी दिस पाई बाय फोर विल कैंसिल आउट विद दिस पाई बाय फोर and this k pi by 6 will cancel out with this k pi by 6 so we are left with pi by 6 and we know very well sin of pi by 6 has value half so we can multiply with 2 so result will not change now this become two times of summation k from 1 to 13 when we open this say this is angle a and say this is angle b so sin a minus b which is sin a cos b so this becomes cot of k minus 1 of pi by 6 plus pi by 4 minus cot of k pi by 6 plus pi by 4 so this way the general term is difference of 2 now when we vary k from 1 to 13 each term will be difference of 2 now for k equal 1 we will find final result cot pi by 4 minus cot of 5 pi by 12, and this will have value 1 minus cot 75 is 10 15 degree, which has value 2 minus root 3. So this finally becomes 2 times of root 3 minus 1. Of course, right answer for this question is option C, and therefore option C is correct answer. Question number 40. Here we are given b i are greater than one for i equals one two three last up to hundred and one, and we are also given log b one base c log b two base c last up to log b hundred and one base c are in a p. It means b one b two b three b hundred and one will be in g p by definition. now common difference of this ap is given log 2 to the base e and therefore common ratio say r of this gp will be of course 2 now a1 a2 a101 are in ap a1 a2 a3 a101 are in ap and we are also given first term of this ap is same as first term of this gp and 51 term of this ap is same as 51 term of this gp now we have to find t which is sum of first 51 terms of this gp now when we find sum of these 51 terms of this gp this will be equal to b1 times because common ratio is here 2 2 to the power 51 minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 as b1 is equals to a1 so we can write this t equal a1 times 2 to the power 51 minus 1 as b1 equal a1 is given to us now let us find sum of first 51 terms of ap now s is sum of first 51 terms of ap this will be 51 by 2 times 2a1 plus 50 times d where d is the common difference of ap where d is the common difference of ap now we are given 51 term of ap is the 51 term of gp from here we can see that 
51 term of AP will be A1 plus 50D and it is given equal to 51 term of GP which will be first term of GP is B1 common ratio is 2 whole to the power 50 as B1 equal A1 so we can read A1 plus 50D equal A1 times 2 to the power 50 again we are given B1 equal A1 so here we can read this as equal 51 by 2 times A1 plus A1 plus 50D and we can use A1 plus 50D equals this A1 times 2 to the power 50. So this is the value of S. Now clearly we can see that this value of S clearly this value of S is greater than A1 times 2 to the power 51 and this value of T is less than A1 times 2 to the power 51 and from these two we can conclude that S is greater than T. Now we can find A101 as A1 plus 100 D and we can use A1 plus 100 time we can put value of D from here which is 2 to the power 50 times A1 minus A1 by 50 which is equal to 2 to the power 51 times A1 minus A1 from this we can say that 100 in first term of this AP will be less than 2 to the power 51 times A1. Now we can find 101st term of GP. This will be equal to B1 times 2 to the power 100 which we can also write A1 times 2 to the power 100 as B1 equal A1 is given to us. From this we can see that B101 is greater than A101. Therefore finally we can say that option B is correct.